Well, hello, everybody. You don't have to go yet. There are some more spectacular stuff to come. In the most intensive preparation demanding part of the old convention, the Dutch Manga Awards. Uh, next slide, please. Yeah. Well, the nominations, the nominations for short Dichter, Dichter. Yeah. Sorry. I'm going to put something on side. So, uh, nominations for short comics, like last year. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> like last year. Nominations for short comics: Dodepoos and Visicop from Jolin and Superkip. Amsterdam Big by Bram Buma. Milu by Milu and Bad Babies by Yolin. But that's all text, so let's show them a little of their work. Next slide, please. This is the work by uh, Yolin and Super Kip. A nice short album about the adventure of the two most unlikely protagonists you'll ever find. Next slide, please. Amsterdam Week by uh, Bram Burma. It's basically completely insane. <laughs> well, not completely insane. <laughs> but damn funny. Yeah, ne I know. Next slide, please. Milou by Milou from Montfort. A nice little booklet with all kinds of cute and nice jokes. Next slide. Next slide, please. That's the bad babies. And, and here we may clear up a little point. Uh, when a comic is short, it's deemed more important than it being a fan comic. So this was a really nice fan comic booklet containing a very nice short. So it was nominated as a short. Um, yep. Are we forgetting one? No, that yeah. was all. So we uh, invite to the stage Mike Hartjes, who is one of the Dutch Manga Award judges. Okay, um, here's the shoe report. I'm going to start with a line from last year, because uh, again, just like last year, this category of short comics, uh, it did not stand out by its quantity, but very much uh, for its, uh, well, it was made up very much by the quality of all the comics. Um, and Milou stood out with her charming drawing style and personal daily observations. Bad Babies successfully transformed dark and brooding superheroes into cute and adorable chibis. Dodo Fizz and Fizzcop brought two undead but very likable characters to life. But the short comic that impressed the jury the most and therefore announced it as a winner is Hamster and Big by Bram Burma. Yeah. Yeah. And it is, oh, can I explain why? Be and uh, we announced it as the winner um, because of its original and consistent drawing style and its absurd humor that makes you laugh out loud. Congratulations is, uh, to Bram Burma. Is he here? Is he here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Please come up. Is there a way on stage? <laughs> How uh, much of iron are your nerves? <laughs> Do you want to say a little word to the public or? Um, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Bram Burma, uh, you have to wait on that side of the building and that goes for all prize winners. Uh, after the ceremony, because you also get the golden Marike. She's still stuck in the hotel room. <laughs> yeah, she wouldn't, wouldn't leave yet, so we need some good people to convince her to come out. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe they're coming to here now. But uh, congratulations again. 
and it was a lovely little booklet. We all laughed out loud. Okay. Yeah. Um, and of course, the price of uh, 125 euros, which you will get in your account next week. Nice. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one round of applause, please. Well, next slide. Next slide, please. The Ten Comics Awards. Nominated were Burden with Glorious Dumbass by Mari. Dragadoon by Natasha. And initially the Eurostage by Tony Babaloni. And we need pictures. Next slide, please. Uh, yes. Next slide. Next slide, please. Kick him. <laughs> uh. Yeah, there. Burden with Glorious Dumbass by Maui. Oh, we had to put something on, so let's do something senseless. We were so glad that Mary finally made it to the nominations as she's been uh, making quality work for years and she has a style of humor that is awesome and she completely left herself out on Loki. Next slide, please. Yes. Oh. oh too much. Crack Doom by Natasha. Again, a Loki fan comic. Does anyone know why this is called Dutch Manga Awards? Well, actually, we think a fan comic in its own is kind of Japanese. But this was an awesome work, and it has this little kick for uh, the next contestant, who is from a circle called Cheesecake at the end. Next slide, please. And does anyone recognize any of the people uh, drawn here? Look at the middle frame. No, it's not Altima. It's not Altima as a whole, but Matsu from Move, who was here yesterday and made the soundtrack. Uh, Tony made a real great, uh, real fan comic about a Japanese comic, which is one of my favorites, incidentally. And he made a beautiful story, mixing it up with uh, European people and lived out his fantasy. Yep. Next slide, please. So, next slide. Yeah. No, back, please. <laughs> um, now we have a little problem for years that every year we've been doing the Dutch Comics Award. They have been won by Marissa Del Brassin. So, as she is actually now a professional comics artist and we wanted to make sure she would never win again, we had only a single solution. And that is, she is part of the jury. So, Marissa. Thank you, Matthijs. <laughs> Well, I'm here now for the fan comic part, and uh, this is our jury report. Initial D, Euro stage by Tony impressed the jury with its movie-like storytelling. And a big hand for the elegance of crack -a doom The exuberant fun in Burdened with Glorious Dumbass is enhanced by its clear drawing style and expressive characters in a very merry-like trait. The page variety grabs your interest and continues to do so. The winner of the DMA Fan Comic 2013 is Burdened with Glorious Dumbass by Mary. You know, you know no, she's, she's not in the room, she's in China at the moment. Yeah, lucky As her. As are all the other uh, nominees for this award. Why isn't there anyone here? <laughs> <laughs> this is where it's happening. Two stand in. <laughs> well, congratulations to Mary. <laughs> you may give it to her when you see her next time. Yes. Yes. 
Well, um, Mariana couldn't be here today because she's in China. Yeah, she's, um, it was her long lasting dream to win a manga award, but the other dream was going to China. So sorry, <laughs> she's um, in Beijing. Well, here we can finally show what's really all about. How do you open it? Don't let it, don't drop off. Uh, the Golden Marike. Ooh. These will also be awarded to AMV winners and EMV winners and everybody who's a winner yeah. today and tomorrow and the next time. Thank you. Hey, continue with the last one. Best original story. Nominees are Lotte by Marilla. Poison by Marcy Tach. Follow the Norm by Roland Monen. And Yamata by The Celestial Circle. Next slide, please. Yeah, we need some pictures. Now, this is kind of strange. You might say, is this a comic? The strange thing is, it's a story that makes an impression. Absolutely. Yeah, but that's not what it makes it unique, because, next slide, please. Poison by Manita is also from the same booklet. And Actually, I had to fight to keep the third story out of the nominations list because enough is enough. But if one booklet would, would win an overall prize, it might be, it's clear that it would be uh, uh, self-destruction by crack Dojinsi. Yeah, it's very impressive. Well, enough about the pep talk. <laughs> <laughs> Next slide, please. Yes. Uh, follow the norm by Roland Monen. Kind of funny, he introduced some of our staff into what it is to watch anime. And he has a beautiful full color comic mixing uh, the uh, mixing Japanese influ influences with uh, Dutch drawing style. Next slide, please. And this is a repeat because Wang Yun that uh, it's only his second story and it's only his second nomination so one big round of applause please for Wang Yun and here the, to present the jury report and the decision for the original uh, story award is Jacques Post from Uitgeverij uh, Sleithof, uh, the man who brought Osura Zamu Tezuka to the Netherlands. Jacques? Wow, hi. Suspense building. I'm inclined to say, Tokyo, may I have your votes, please? But <laughs> as the work already has been done, I'll tell you our findings. Intriguing world building in Follow the Norm. Impressive and convincing battle scenes in Yamada. The mystery and symbolism in Poison fuel the story. From the same anthology, Self Destruction by Craig Brain Doshinchi, which is highly recommended by the jury, comes Lotte by Marilla. It's a strong, dramatic, and moving story which delivers the message in a chilling and at the same time subdued way. Her choice to tell the story in children's drawings is original and very effective. This story definitely stood out for the jury among a very strong and diverse field of contenders. The winner of the DMA original story 2013 is Lotte by Merwilla. Round of applause, please. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Congrats. Awesome. Great job. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, you Do you maybe have something to say to the public? Um, well, thank you very much. 
And uh, well, be sure to buy our booklet because it's really awesome. <laughs> it is so awesome. It's yeah. really awesome. So uh, yeah, that's it, I think. <laughs> oh, you're welcome to it. It is an awesome booklet. Ladies and gentlemen, and with that, it is the end of the Dutch uh, uh, Manga Awards. Uh, I think we prepared to show the movie you just saw about the building again. Has anyone wanted to see it again? Uh, and before I forget it, thank you for coming here and seeing the show.